friends welcome back so today I'm bringing you guys another video <laughs> I can't even try to act casual about this I don't think I'm even allowed to, got, to call you guys friends anymore like you guys you guys got rid of me a long time ago <laughs> so it's been like I don't know almost five months since I filmed a video <laughs> and I'm sure that you guys know what's up but I'll tell you what's up babies are just like a whole lot of work like in the beginning it was okay I was just kind of fitting the time to do it but as she grows she just like needs your attention a lot more and more and they don't tell you that they don't tell you that so I just was not prepared for her to need me as much as she needs me right now she's taking a nap and I just ran upstairs turned the camera I didn't even do anything I've had this makeup on since like I don't even know seven o'clock in the morning and it is now it is now I don't know what time it is I'll tell you right now 5 30 p.m. I also took a nap in between putting the makeup on and right now so if I look a little crazy then that's why you guys are asking me when I'm coming back and I've been honest I didn't know if I was gonna come back now that I'm sitting here I don't even know how I questioned it because it just feels so good to sit in front of the camera and talk to you guys but it's just it is so hard but anyways this is not a life update video this is a favorites video and I do have some favorites because like I said I've still been shopping I've still been keeping up with the makeup because I'm still wearing it I'm wearing it more now than I was when I was actually filming which if that makes any sense to you please let me know because it don't make no sense to me but we're just gonna dive in I'm using Alana's bassinet as <laughs> my thing because like I told you I didn't set anything up I just ran up here and I'm doing it so I just threw all the products in <laughs> Alana's bassinet which she's no longer using by the way she sleeps in her crib now because that's 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 happening that's what's happening. So I just throw everything in here and I'm just gonna just gonna dive in and talk about them. So the first thing I grabbed is this Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer. I got mine in the color cappuccino. I think she came out with these about a month ago. She came out with six shades and I expected the range to be a little more inclusive. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's bothering me. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely expected a little more from Anastasia. You guys know I love Anastasia. I picked up the shade Cappuccino just because it looked like the one that I would like the most. So I'm gonna swatch it for you even though I feel like swatching a bronzer is the weirdest thing of life. I'm gonna swatch it anyways. So <laughs> this is so strange. Who swatches a bronzer? Do people do that? This is the shade right here. I do really like this shade. I feel like if I'm a little heavy-handed with it, it can be out of control, which probably happened before I sat down to film this but what are we gonna do I don't have time to blend no bronzer right now Alana could wake up any second I like that it comes with a mirror I really like it it bronzes me it does its job I'm happy about it I don't feel like I have to keep digging in it every four seconds to get some product like if you go in one or two times you're good don't don't keep going in because you will look like me the next thing I'm grabbing is this palette by BH Cosmetics this is the BH Cosmetics and it's my Ray Ray collab I love this palette. I've been using this non-stop since I got it. And I know this came out probably over two months ago, maybe over three months ago. It's been a while. But I've been using it like crazy. This one looks like on the inside you have a mirror. You have, what is that, 15 shades. And then you have, well, 15 eyeshadows. And then you have three highlights and three bronzers. I love everything in this palette. I mostly gravitate towards this palette when I'm going to do something more purple or pink. This kind of section is... The bomb and I also really love the shade angel it is so gorgeous it is like I, I need to swatch it for you oh my god it's so gorgeous it's a little chunky but I think I like that about it you know it's it's like white gold beautifulness it is so beautiful I love to put this on my inner corners I like to put it on my brow bone it just makes everything pop and it looks so good and it also kind of reminds me of the highlight shade moonlight moonlight is more of like a yellow gold whereas the eyeshadow is more of like a white gold but you could definitely use that as a highlight if you're like paler but i also love this contour shade i've used this so many times since i got this palette the color mocha i love it i think she did an incredible job and i'm glad to see that somebody's coming out with something with color in it not only color as in colorful eyeshadow but also like diverse colors that will match everybody. The next thing that I want to talk about is an eyeshadow palette by Kylie Cosmetics. I actually have a good amount of Kylie Cosmetics in this favorites video. She's just been killing it. Like, I can't lie to you. She has been killing it. So this is the blue palette, and this was from her collaboration with Courtney. This is what the inside looks like. This is what the inside looks like. It comes with four shades. Again, you can, I think you can see I have not touched these metallic shades. I think I've swatched them, and they look nice, 
but they're just not nice enough for me to put them on my eyes because I just I want to wear mattes all day every day it's what I want to do the main reason that I love this palette is this one shade right here I love this color what is this called Bible is that how is that how they set it up or is it Calabasas I'm not sure this transitiony warm beautiful shade is everything even when I'm not using this palette I will grab it just to use this for my transition and then I'll put it back away and use whatever else I was using because this color is so good these colors are really really pigmented you know what I'll swatch the metallics for you just so you get an idea of what's up this one is maybe 1944 and then this one is maybe in the rain maybe who knows I'm gonna oh that looks so good Maybe I have to play with the metallics. You see that? 1944 in the rain. Those look really good. So I just love these two matte shadows. And for me, an everyday look would, would consist of these two eyeshadows and maybe a black. And that's it. That's all I need. And I've been doing kind of like an everyday look a lot recently. So this has just been coming in handy so much. So much more than I expected it to just because... I'm usually not like an everyday eyeshadow kind of person. I kind of pick. I'm like, oh, today I'm going to wear metallic green. Tomorrow I'm going to wear matte yellow. Speaking of Kylie Cosmetics, her concealer is just, it's just the next level. It took me by surprise. Wait, wait, it's still here. It took me by surprise. I did not expect to love this as much as I do. I just saw everybody talking about it. Everybody was posting their videos about it. So I said, you know what? I have to give it a try. Like, what's, I have to do it. And I love this. I got the color Oak, which is, it's definitely a highlight, but I don't think it's as psycho of a highlight as some of my other concealers. You guys know what I'm talking about. This is the shade right here. I'm not wearing it. To, no, I'm not, not wearing it today. It is just so good. It reminds me a lot of Shape Tape, except it's kind of like a better proportion. Like Shape Tape's doe foot is enormous, which I love. I love me that chunky doe foot. But... Sometimes, I, you know, I want something a little more petite, and I really like that this is like that. I love the color that I chose. I mean, I looked at swatches. She has an amazing color selection, by the way. Amazing. She has a color for everybody. I have to give her that. And I just, I just love the consistency of this. It has great coverage. It is just like a perfect everyday concealer. I think you guys need to try this out if you have not tried it, because it might change your life, unless you have shape tape, and it will not. I figure we'll just get Kylie Cosmetics out of the way completely. I have two lip kits to talk about. The first one is the color One Wish. This is what I'm wearing on my lips today, except I'm not wearing the lip pencil. I'm only wearing the liquid lipstick because the lip pencil is just is just not the business for me. So it looks like this is the lip pencil. I'm going to swatch both for you. This is just the perfect nude. The first time I applied this, I just looked at myself in the mirror and said, why is nobody talking about this? This is the greatest nude ever. This is the lip pencil. And then this is the liquid lipstick. The liquid lipstick, I think, is actually darker than the lip pencil, which does not help me at all. But look at that liquid lipstick. It is beautiful. It is hands down the best Kylie Cosmetics nude that she has ever made. It is gorgeous. And then the other one that I have to talk about is the color Boss. It's kind of strange for me to talk about a red lipstick because I have so many red lipsticks. And red lipsticks don't really, like, I'm never like, oh my god, this is gorgeous. It's like, it's red. Okay, great. But this red is, it is beautiful. I didn't expect to love this as much as I do. I saw the swatches and I was like, why, why is that so, like it just looks so regular, schmegular, like I don't want that. But when I put it on, mm -mm, I wanted to wear it like every single day after that. By the way, excuse my nails. They're, this is like the worst that they get. I usually do my nails tomorrow, which is Sunday. This is what the liquid lipstick looks like. It's definitely not as like intense red as some of my other reds. But for some reason on the lips, it looks freaking beautiful. So this is it right here. Lip pencil. And then this is the liquid lipstick. I'm obsessed with this color. I think every time that I wear a red lipstick, it's going to be this. Like, I might as well just get rid of all the other ones because it is just so beautiful to me. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is because when I look at the swatches, I'm just like, what? But it looks so good on. Just looks so good. We got some Kat Von D to talk about. The first thing is... Probably my favorite favorite in this entire thing. Let me see. Let me see. 
Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I have some really good favorites on here. This is the Kat Von D Metal Crush Highlighter. I'm sorry, Extreme Highlighter. In the color Gold School. This came out with her 10 year anniversary collection, which I did pick this up and I picked up the eyeshadow palette. I haven't actually used the eyeshadow palette yet, but I do have a look in mine. So let me know if you guys want me to film something with that if I ever get a chance film something with that but this is what it looks like on the inside and you know what's funny I actually bought this and then looked at the reviews and there's a lot of bad reviews a lot of people don't like this and I'm obsessed with this obsessed it looks so amazing if you follow me on snapchat I did mention that this is my new favorite thing it's incredible it's very intense it's also kind of glittery and by kind of I mean like it's glittery see it's right here it's very glittery very gold very intense I like the fact that it is so blinding. I did like one or two swipes and I was like, Jesus. This is not today. I'm not wearing it today. Today I'm wearing Peach Goddess by Jeffree Star. But I almost felt, I was like, what is happening on my cheekbones right now, Kat Von D? What did you do? If you don't like glittery things though, and if you don't like highlighters that look like highlighters, because when you put this on, like, this is a highlighter. This is a This is not like, oh, it looks like your skin. Like, no, it doesn't. It looks like you just packed on a crap ton of highlight. I love it. So let's talk a little uh, Makeup Shayla and Colourpop collaboration because I bought the entire collab and I mean the entire, every single, every single piece, I bought it and I was so excited to receive it. I still have not used the eyeshadow palette. Still have not. Let me know if you guys want to look at that too. But the one piece that I did use, <sighs> bro, this is the loose powder highlighter in the color Boomin. She came out with two colors. The other color is Pose. I think pose but it's a little bit darker than this one this is just the first one that I grabbed and I am not okay this is it Jesus <laughs> this is the highlight right right here can you see that, can you, is, that is that visible <laughs> it's definitely less glittery than the Kat Von D one you can see there's like a significant difference the Kat Von D is definitely more yellow gold and this one is a little bit more of like a bronze gold the first time I put this on too I also posted it on snapchat I a lot of makeup stuff on snapchat usually what I do is I do my makeup get to work and then when I'm at work there's like this enormous window in front of me so that I'm just like hey look at my makeup today she's awake you savage <laughs> so the, apparently the rest of the video is gonna be with Alana hi you want to pull my earrings is that what you're looking at probably because you're a savage look at there we go Right away. It's the other way, Alana. Look. Over here. Say hi, friends. I need everybody at home to pray that Alana does not rip off my earrings throughout the rest of this video because she is staying here. She was sleeping. I told you she was, I told you she was going to wake up. I think if you have a lighter skin tone, that's not going to work for you because it's definitely more on the bronze side, but if you're my skin color, it will do wonders for you. It is just like, bing. Uh, let's talk about lashes. Cause I have two pairs of lashes that are just, it's just unfair how gorgeous they are. The first ones I wanna talk about are by Lily Lashes, which you guys know have been probably my top favorite lash brand. You know, I'm kind of upset you can't see her. Should I bring this down? I will bring this down. So, the first ones I wanna talk about are by Lily Lashes. You guys know Lily Lashes have been some of my favorite lashes for the longest time. They are mink, but they are so crazy fluffy. People at my job actually comment. I wear lashes every single day, okay? Every single day, well, every single day that I wear makeup, which is every single day, so every single day. So people will actually comment when I'm wearing these lashes and say, wow, those are really fluffy and just long, and that's because they are. So the ones that I wanna talk about, you guys know I love the pair in Sydney. That is one of my favorites, but if you wanna take it up a notch from Sydney, Give caramel a try because these are just every actual thing. They are so, you can even see, look at how dramatic those are. I love dramatic lashes though. They are just everything to me. So they are definitely winged out on the ends. So if you're wearing a winged eyeliner, this will do just right. Look at them. Oh my God. These are just, they give me life. These are hands down one of the best pairs of lashes that I've ever purchased in my entire life and we're not done with the interruption the next pair of lashes that I want to talk about I've actually never heard anybody talk about and I would like to change that immediately these are by Priscilla Nicole lashes Priscilla Nicole she I'm gonna leave her Instagram right here she is on Instagram I am always on her Instagram I love her Instagram she came out with a lash brand and I've seen a lot of people come out with lash brands I'm not always interested in trying them out but when I saw I was like no 
no no and I bought five pairs I've tried two of them this one I've worn so many times I'm waiting for her to restock because I need to buy like 14 more pairs of this one style it's amazing this is in the style AZ I believe she is from Arizona so I'm pretty sure that's where AZ comes from this is what the packaging looks like it's so cute and different when I open up my drawer I know exactly what Priscilla Nicole lashes are and look at look at this pair look at this pair they are so long they're not as dramatic as some of the styles that I usually like I should probably show you both of them there you go they're not as dramatic as thick as some of the pairs that I usually like but for days that I'm wearing like no liner and I just want some like really wispy lashes because that's what this is to me this is like a natural makeup kind of a lash yeah I know it's just perfect I don't know why can't anybody see you can you show yourself and stop being a savage she's usually never naked but you guys it's 94 degrees I went into her room and her monitor will tell you like what temperature it is and it's 94 degrees Stop. So I have worn these lashes, I would say, easily eight times in a month. What? That is that is like unheard of for me. And I am I'm trying not to wear them because I don't want to rip them apart. I am like such a savage, I will rip apart these lashes. If I wear them one more time, I know it's just gonna be like the world's biggest mess. So I'm trying not to wear them again because they're out of stock right now. But once they come in stock, I am telling you I am jumping on that website. So fast. I have two lip products left. The first one, uh, I guess I'll do the liquid lipstick. This liquid lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills is unlike anything that I've ever worn in my entire life. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you saw me wear this to go watch The Avengers. Which, by the way, I don't even want to talk about The Avengers. Like, everybody is saying how amazing it is. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Anyways, I wore this to go watch The Avengers. And I was obsessed with my entire face that day. I went up to Elver and I said, look at this face. There it is right there. This is the color Insomniac, by the way. I definitely did not tell you. She came out with a lot of new shades to her liquid lipstick range recently. And I picked some of them up. And I don't know why, but I've been loving Anastasia liquid lipsticks a lot more than I used to. This color is gorgeous. Obviously, it's not for everybody. Obviously, I'm not wearing this to work, which I really wish I was. Maybe I should try it one day. I just see, like, what happens. It's just such a beautiful color, and I think there's other brands that do this color, but I don't think any of them are as good as this one. I love it, and it's so comfortable to wear, and it's so opaque, and it's just perfect. I think this is the last makeup item I have in general, actually. Yes, this is the last makeup item I have in general. This is a lip pencil by Kat Von D. This is the Everlasting Lip Liner in the color Hawkwind, which I am wearing with One Wish by Kylie right now. I'm, I'm wearing it right now. Every time I wear a nude color in general, I'm wearing this because it is perfect it's retractable which I love I love I'm too lazy to sharpen things like stop giving me wooden pencils it's definitely on the darker side I also have the liquid lipstick in the color Hawkwind which I don't wear as a nude it's definitely more on the brown side but for me it's so hard to find a good nude lip pencil I bought a couple of these I think I have Lolita I have two other shades I can't think of the names of <laughs> but this one just looks the best on me it's darker in color so if you are lighter this is gonna be like brown on you but if you're like my skin color and up this is gonna work as like a really good nude lip pencil as you can see on me it doesn't look it just looks like it's actually defining my lips which is what I need and it's so hard for me to find a good lip pencil I'm telling you I've been using the same like four colors for I don't even know how long so that's why when I saw these I said yes I'm gonna give this a shot and I love them they're so opaque so creamy I just love them. Okay, last two products I have to talk about that are not makeup related the first one is a nail polish and this is by China Glaze. This is in the color Fifth Avenue. I'm not wearing it right now, but I wore it maybe two manicures ago. So I guess that would be two weeks ago. I do my nails every single week. And I was this close to reapplying it. But then I said, Katie, like stop, you have way too many nail polishes to be doing this. But it is gorgeous. I got so many compliments on this. Actually, my sister-in-law saw this on my nails and she said, no, wait, no, no, no. And then she went and bought it immediately because she was like, that's incredible. It looks so good on me. It looks so good on her. It looks so good on everybody. I don't imagine how this could not look good. The formula is amazing. It lasted really well throughout the one week that I wore it. And like I said, I thought about applying it again, which I've never done. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, I post my manicures every time that I do them I, like I said I paint them like Sunday nights and I usually post on Sunday nights what I'm wearing so if you want to see what I'm wearing today I am wearing barely because it's so chipped but I'm wearing mink muffs by Essie I usually also link it in the description box but 
Like I said, I usually post that stuff on Snapchat. I post a lot on Snapchat. I feel like nobody goes on Snapchat anymore, but I am still all about it. Last thing I have to talk about is some dry shampoo, which I actually never used until recently. I was really skeptical at first. I was like, what do you mean? You're gonna make my hair look clean, like stop lying. But it really, it really does. And for a person who hates washing her hair, I am telling you, if you think you hate washing your hair, you're wrong. I hate washing my hair a whole lot more than you could ever hate it. It is just really good. So this is the Batiste Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo. This is the light and breezy fresh version. I actually bought this from Mama Danger and then, you know, my hair got dirty. And so I said, let me, let me just use that dry shampoo real quick. And it actually works wonders. It does leave like a white cast in your hair, but then what I do it, hey, what's up? You want your dry shampoo? So Alana has left the building. So sorry, but she's gone now. But what I was saying is, it does leave a white cast in your hair, but if you just, you know, shake it out a little bit, it goes away. I know that there's a lot of dry shampoos that are tinted. I mean, it's not that serious. If you just go like, it'll leave. It's not, it's not the end of life. I just love the way that this smells, and it really, it really works. Like, I am not kidding you. I'll do just like, usually, okay, I get oily just like right, just right here. Everywhere else is perfectly fine. I actually have a pretty dry scalp, but, you know, when, it, when it's been a lot of days oils come so just like right in this area because I usually part my hair like right there so right in this area is where it starts to get really oily I just go like and it looks like I wash my hair I am not kidding you it looks it looks brand spanking new and that's what I need in my life okay I just had to go change my battery because it died and I only have like five seconds left to talk in this video like this is the biggest struggle this is why I can never do anything <laughs> that is it for my favorites video and not only did my battery die but my memory card is about to be full because I've been talking that long so those were all my favorites for the last I don't know five months <laughs> I am back I don't know how consistent or how often I'm gonna film but I am really going to try my best to film as much as possible sitting down here is just it just feels so good so thank you guys so much for watching and for being patient with me and understanding that Alana is a handful and I just love you guys and I'm so happy to be back that's all I really have to say so I guess I will see you guys in my next video if you'll have me <laughs> bye hi friends welcome back so today I'm bringing you guys another video and I have a hair in my eye oh god oh god 